Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today is a bit of a kind of like mega haul, I guess. So I recently got a new computer and in that I've actually lost um, a little bit of footage. One of them being this haul, but I've also been receiving other makeup and I cannot wait to unbox things and share them with you. So I tend to film it but to, this week I've actually been a bit slower in my makeup purchases. So you're going to see through three different kind of times. This being the first time and then a different day and then we come back to today. But earlier today, just to confuse you. So I really wanted to share this and anyway I picked up one of the Mecca... I picked up some of the Mecca Christmas stuff at the Melbourne Cup. I chose the winning horse and I won some money. So I I put it towards makeup. So these are the Mecca boxes. You will see the Mecca packs later in the video. They, when you order online, you get the really cool paper. So I just, I'm in love with this box. Like it's amazing and shiny. I love it. So I picked up the other NARS mini that they have out. And this has the Bronzer Laguna and the highlighter Little Fetishes. What a nice name. No one here is called Fort de France. So maybe I've got a different one. Anyway, I've still got a mini of the Deep Throat NARS blush from last year that I'm still using. And I got Laguna on a piece of cardboard that I've been using and I actually really liked it. So I'm happy to have it in a mini. These last me ages. And I love the little container. This has actually already become my hair tie container, but I took them out because I don't think they'd be the most attractive thing to show you. Uh, swatching these, I don't think it's that worthwhile. Laguna, oh look, I'll swatch them because I've said that now, haven't I? So Laguna, look, there's just like a really nice bronzer, definitely for the pale ladies, I would say. It's not shimmery, it's a nice matte. And Fort de France is a highlighter. I haven't really used it much at all. But there we go. It's just there and it, like, you know, um, it looks nice. I mostly wanted Laguna and this little dude was cheaper than buying like the big, the larger Laguna. So I'm happy. And I picked up a super boring palette and <laughs> this is the Bare Minerals Aurora Lights palette. I'm fairly sure I've, I've lost my first impressions with this palette. Now I'm sorting through all my footage. But this made me think of Makeup Struggle Straight Away and Undercooked Chicken. And there's pretty much the half of this palette and the other half is quite beautiful. So I have done a first impression with this. Um, and it's, it's nice, I like it. I'm keen to play with it a bit more, but I've been playing with Gingerbread's Brass lately. This one's next on the chopping block. And then let me know later on what you would like to see more of. Anyway, I'll let past Prue take over and then future Prue. I'm sorry, this is a confusing one. Uh, I just, I love sharing my makeup hauls and I hope you enjoy. Mm. All right, I'm just adding some stuff onto my haul. Damn it, I just did my nails. So let's see how this goes. But <clears throat> I went to Mecca and I got, I got their Christmas, like the bag. That things came in and I've already I can't help myself I already opened it they had these all around I kind of wish they just posted these out in advance but it pretty much shows you all the products that they have for sale um I'm looking forward to reading this I just I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with like makeup releases knowing what's out there staring at it for really long times Anyway, so I picked up a lipstick. So this comes from, my sister was helping me fix up the look I did for my drag look when we were, when I wasn't recording us conversation. Um, but she said that I should really get a, needed a coral. I realized that I actually don't have any corals. So I went to Mecca, asked the lass, what is a good coral? This is a Vegas Vault, a MAC amplified. Here's a little swatch of it. And let's put it on my lips right now. Oh, what do you what do you think? Is that a nice coral? Hmm. I 
think I like it. And I also picked up this really cute set. I just, for all the colorful makeup I buy, I have this really weird obsession. Sorry, I'm just looking for my scissors. Uh, for all the makeup that I buy, I've got a really weird obsession with lip scrubs. It makes no sense. I like, I use them haphazardly, but I've never gone through one. But I just, I love trying the different formulas out there. I'm obsessed. Anyway, this is one of their Christmas sets. How much is it? Should have it. So this is $25 and this is Frank Body. And if you're in the US or UK, I, I really want to know if you guys can get this product. So it's Australian. Supporting the Aussies. And one of my friends, she is obsessed with their lip balm. And this actually won one of the Mecca Awards last year. Um, so this is lip balm in smooth at your slick surface. Pretty sure it's just like a real basic lip balm. I'm excited to try it. Who doesn't mind a lip balm? But what got me to buy this particular kit, and look how cute this little lip scrub is. And see, so I've got, and look how cute this little one is. So this is one from Hideaway that I've got here. I've got the Too Faced lip scrub just here. So you can see it's nice and flat. What's the difference in size? This is 15 mils, 15 mils. Oh, and this would have been like half the price of this, I'm sure. Hmm. Anyway, what got me to buy this is that this is coffee. Mm. And this just smells like black, delicious coffee. I'm so happy smelling this. I'm really excited to try this. I probably should have started with this. That would have made more sense, but oh well. And I think I might at some point just do a video on all my lip scrubs and the different formulas that there are because I don't know I've become a mini expert somehow <laughs> Anyway, this is a really cute pack. If you know someone who's just like really into uh, Like natural basic lips. It's definitely great to pick up for Christmas I'd love to know I did some research into whether or not you can get this in the US and there is an online website But like do they have a presence there? Have you heard of this brand before? What are your thoughts on a Frank body? Um, anyway, hopefully I'll be able to find my footage unboxing the Sephora favourites and add that on. If not, I think this is all I'm buying at the moment. Oh, I did pick up the Australis Banana Powder in Loose the other day. This one is really well known as being good. I thought, I look, let's, you know, let's try and be a bit more Australian. <laughs> well, let's try some more drugstore. So let me know if you've tried that one. Is that is it different from the press formula? I don't know. I couldn't find much about that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully some four favourites follow. I know. I appreciate your views. You're beautiful. Thank you. I'm just having my last haul that I've done with some more products that I bought today. So I thought it was a bit too small. So I was going to add in that I have bought the Sephora favourites. And if you haven't bought it yet, I definitely recommend buying it. This was my favourite. This was the one that appealed to me the most. But if we want to keep getting these in Australia, it's worth getting. And like, I love minis. Minis are life. Marceline. If you want to see me like use all the products or something, let me know. But anyway, let's go to today. So I went back to Mecca. I finally used up my Clinique balm stuff. And I'm obsessed with this year's packaging. How beautiful are the bags? I kind of just want to order something online so I can get another box. But this is a really, I look very changed to the paper. Yeah. This is a super boring purchase, really. I'm excited for it and I've been wanting to try this. And this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I've been using the liquid version of this and it's not that good. But this is more like a hard wax thing going on. So I'm keen as to give it a whirl and see how it works. And today was the beginning of the Priceline 50% off sale and pretty much no new releases have really like really pulled me in. I think the next eyeshadow palette I'm probably going to buy is the Sydney Grace Autumn Rain palette. But there's, I don't know, nothing's really inspired me so I thought I'd want to give playing with drugstore a go. So... How like this is it's so funny having a plastic bag. Just gonna pull out all the products 
and then we'll go through them. And I'll tell you how, look, and I'll tell you how much it all costs. Uh, just because this is, I think it's all 50% off. But let's start with something really boring. And this is the Maybelline Foundation 24 Hour. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Annette sort of recommended to try. This is only 10 bucks today. I'm pretty sure it's usually 20. Oh wait, so this will tell me. Yeah, everything was half price. So I was really happy to pick this up for 10 bucks. And I'm curious to try the formula. I didn't do, I don't know. I picked up the color True Ivory. When I swatched it on my hand, it looked like it went a bit more like, it went a little darker. So I'm curious to see how it goes as a match. I'm more curious to see it as a wear. I picked up some pencils. So I've got the Essence Long Lasting Pencil. Actually, is this going to have been $1.50? No, this was $3. This was full price at $3. And this is a lovely, it's a purple. As you know, I've been pretty obsessed with purple lately. And I've got a Astralis Eye Pencil. This is one of the Australian brands. I've not tried much from them at all. Eye Pencil, ooh, Hello Sailor. And this was like a deep blue. And it's more of a like pencil pencil. So it'll be interesting to use. So this is a Models Prefer Infinite Color Eye Pencil 14 hour wear in teal maybe. This was a real nice metallic teal. So I'm excited to try that. I won't pull this out, but I picked up the Lash Paradise one. This was, I forgot to say how much those pencils were. The Models Prefer pencil was $6.50. The Australis pencil was $4.97. And the L'Oreal Paradise mascara, I got this for $12.47. So it's usually $24, which is why I haven't really bothered buying it. And I am curious to try. I'll give it a while soon. Heard mixed results about it. And now we move into the eyeshadow palettes. So this is one of the more expensive palettes. And I can't believe this normally goes for $36. Actually, this is why I've never bought it. So I got this for $18.97 today. The NYX Ultimate Brights palette. And I am keen to duck into this one. Dr I wanted some more colourful drugstore ma makeup to play with. And to sort of be able to test like the qualities a bit better. Because I've never been one for drugstore, really. So I'm keen to give this a whirl. That was just that blue shade. And I got the Rimmel Jeweled Rocks 1097. So they have a few in this range that I've seen around. And this was kind of giving me... I'll open it up so you can actually see. Like a bit of subculture and neutral vibes. I thought it had versatility. And this green is sort of the one. That green, I've just watched there. That. That's sort of the one that made me want to buy it. So I'm curious to try and see what I think. And then at an Australis product for a $9.97, I got the Kaleidoscope palette. So I picked up the Australis Kaleidoscope palette. And it's sort of, it's like another rainbow palette, but I was curious. I really want to test out some of the formulas. I'm just going to swatch this blue and put it next to that one. So this is the Australis blue. And yeah, it is quite a rainbow palette, but I think it, you know, I'm intrigued. Let me know if you've tried any of these palettes, if you like them, if you hate them, if you recommend them. Uh, let me know what sort of palette you might want to see in a video first. I'm still working on something with the gingerbread spice. But I would love to know what you think. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. And yeah, I'm excited to try some drugstore.